around us. Blessed to be here together. Amen. I'd like to invite the children, anyone who's feeling a little childlike this morning, to come and join me at the front. Stay over there, or over there. I'll sit over here. You guys go over there. Sorry, I'm not, I'm just sanitizing because I'm going to touch Perry's mic. All right, nothing else, just, okay, sorry, Perry. I'm right behind you, don't breathe in. Okay, excellent. No, you have to sit over there. You have to sit over there. I have a cold. Keep your distance. But I do want to talk to you. Okay, not that far. I mean, I don't smell bad. I just have a cold. I'm just, you know. Okay, I do want to talk to you, though, because I bet uh, at school this week you had a Remembrance Day ceremony, didn't you? You didn't go to school this week. Oh, were you sick this week? You were sick this week. But you're wearing a poppy today, which is really cool because Remembrance Day was yesterday. I'll come back to that because that's super cool that you did that, and I'm glad you did. What did you do at school? For Remembrance Day, what did you do? We had to go to, we had to go to the big jewel gym and have the ceremony. And what happened in the ceremony? We learned about the soldiers who have fallen in war. Excellent. Did you, by any chance, hear someone read or say or sing in Flanders Fields? Yes. Excellent. Did you do something like that at school too? Did you, anything else different about yours? Or do you guys go to the same school? We go to different schools. I did do the Flanders Fields thing. You did it? If only were you, you were close enough to be heard on the mic. Come on, you can do it. I did do the Flanders Fields thing. I so you were the one who read it? The entire, all 600 people. Excellent. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you know who wrote that? John McRae, right, who was a Canadian, he was a doctor, and he saw the flowers growing, and then he inspired him to write that, right, which is pretty cool, right, so the things you learn, right, and like, I bet, is it because I'm holding this too close, sorry, feedback, I bet um, when you were talking about soldiers who had fallen and stuff, did, were there any, did anybody read any names, were there any names, did you do that part? Um, I didn't do it, but there were some high school kids that did it. Yeah, right? Because sometimes, like, it's, there's kids from your school who way back when, you know, went as soldiers, right? It's, it's pretty awesome that we do stuff like that, and it's really important that we do. Here's the cool thing about that, though. When did you do that? Was it Friday? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Peter, was yours Thursday or was it Friday? Um, I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay. Could have been Thursday. Oh, because there was no school on Friday. Why was there no school on Friday? Because of Remembrance Day. Oh, so you had a holiday yeah. because of Remembrance Day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So here's the thing about that. Remembrance Day was yesterday, but you guys had a thing on Thursday because you had a day off on Friday because of it's a holiday, and Remembrance Day was actually on Saturday, so they moved the holiday. To the, for some people, the holiday's on the Monday, right? So we got a holiday for that. And then we're done. Right? We do it and we're done. Except that's not what it's about, is it? That's why we call it Remembrance Day. It's not just about going through the motions of a ceremony, reading a poem, and reading off some names, and then you go home and forget about it. We call it Remembrance Day, so we'll remember. My school has a big hallway with a bunch of plaques. Mm-hmm. Your school has a bunch of plaques in a hallway. Yeah. With names, uh, names on them, I bet. names on them from, like, from... If they were from Pinocchio, then they're, f- and if they're from World War II, they're on one side. World War One, they're on another side. Like they fell in battle. Awesome. There's plaques for them in the hallway. Do you walk by those every day? Yeah, my classroom is in the hallway. Do you sometimes stop and read them? Yeah. Excellent. That's awesome. I knew you were going to say yes. I had no hes. I actually was 100% confident he was going to say yes, because I think that's just that's really cool. Because it's important that we remember that Remembrance Day isn't one day, right? We, we go, in fact, it's not only not one day, we say right at 11 o'clock, right? There's a whole thing about the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, right? And sometimes I think we do that and then we, 
we go through all the motions of doing that, and then we forget about why we did that. And we did that because we can do this, right? I mean, that's the thing. My, my dad was, it was in the, the war, in the Second World War, and he used to, always, it used to bug him that Remembrance Day was a holiday, not because it wasn't earned, because it should be, but because of how we tend to treat holidays. Holiday's a day off, right? If you have a holiday, you got a day off. I mean, if you actually get days off. It's a day off, right? And what he used to think was, Remembrance Day should be just like any other day, and then at 11 o'clock, you stop and think about why it can be just like any other day. And then after you've stopped to think about why it can be just like any other day, you then try and make it a better day. And the next day, and the next day, because we can. Right? And that's the thing, that's why it's so important to remember, is that we can. We can, we can be here. We can, we can gather together like this, and we can make every day better because we have that opportunity because of what people did for us. Right? And so it isn't just that one moment, that one day going through the most. Jesus used to talk about this all the time. Right? He was always talking about, it's, it's not about going through the motions of like the rituals or even going to, well, he would have said go to temple, but like going to church and going through all that. It's about remembering when you leave from that so that you remember to take what you learned and what you remember into the rest of your day and in the next day and the next day and the next day. Right? It's what's at the heart of it, the meaning of it not just the ceremony of doing it. And so I think it's really cool. I noticed there's a few people who are still wearing their poppies, which is awesome. Um, I, I am not, be, I'll tell you why. <laughs> because I, I know a guy from the Legion in Mirror, he, he's dead now, but he used to always talk about um, how uh, you wear it, and then at, after the ceremony in the 11th hour, you take it off, and you put it down because it was, and Nettie was talking about it this morning. It's a sign of a fallen soldier, right? And so that's why people have started putting them, if you watch the ceremony from Ottawa, people have started putting them on the tomb of the unknown soldier. Um, and and th- what's cool about that too is people have different ways of seeing that, but they're all ways in which we carry it forward. Right? So the people who are still wearing them, they're still carrying that forward. The people who put them down, that remembrance carries it forward. And we can learn from that. And we can make every day better, right? Yeah. And that's what you're going to do today, right? Yeah. Awesome. That's excellent. So uh, in Flanders Fields is a really cool poem. And um, there's, uh, Pat Mayberry wrote a song that uses, uh, she uses, I think, the first four lines of the poem and then what, it's, what the poem's about is the rest of the song. So, Would you like me to recite the whole poem? Can you recite the whole poem from memory, Peter? Yes. Pass Peter the microphone. In Flanders fields the poppies blow Between the crosses row by row That mark their place and in the sky The larks, still bravely singing, fly scarce Heard amid the guns below We are the dead short days ago we live, we li- feel dawn, saw sunsets glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with our foe, to you who failing hands we throw. The torch, be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields.